Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I don't actually make breakfast for my kids during the week. They get up really early and they usually work out first thing so they don't want to have a big breakfast. They eat breakfast at school after practice. Um, but Saturday mornings I can. We're a little less rushed. I have one kid at a sleepover. Older son's here. And I wanted to show you my personal secret for what I think makes scrambled eggs taste better. And that is... I do my eggs, add a little milk, a little salt, but instead of regular pepper, white pepper. That, for some reason, is just a little milder, makes the eggs taste better, and then you don't get those black specks, which can be a little off-putting. So, that is that. So I'm going to get to it, scramble up some eggs, and feed the troops of one. One troop. Actually, I'm going to make enough for me, too. Oh, we're going to get run over. Um... We are doing a divide and conquer mission. Yeah. The male members of the party are going to Marshall's and I am going to Ulta over there to get Kiki a birthday present because it is her birthday on Monday and by the time this shows up, it'll be after her birthday and she'll already know what I'm getting. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. I have a 20% off coupon, but it's kind of a big lie because it's only 20% off the drugstore side of the store and then 10% off the good stuff, which is really annoying. They should just, they should just accept, they should just give you a 20% off coupon, but whatever. Okay, off we go. We are in the lobby of the St. Anthony Wyndham Hotel. It's completely abandoned. It is so weird. Where is everybody? It's beautiful though. Let's see if we can find a human being. Allegedly they, they serve breakfast somewhere around here. This hotel was established in 1909. It's a historic building. Obviously, you know what? This is the ballroom reception area. I think we're entering the main lobby here. So now we're moving out of the Victorian age and into Art Deco, apparently. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh. You mean it's closed? Apparently it's closed. Okay, so now we know why there's nobody here. That is so weird because the lights are on. And... Good morning. Okay, so apparently the hotel is under renovation and behind me the Art Deco stuff is what's coming and this is, they're preserving this to keep um, the original part of the hotel because I mean, let's face it, this is absolutely stunning. Um, I mean, it's different. Look how pretty that is. And then the park out there, it's like a conservatory. So we are off for a hunting for a different breakfast spot. Okay, so we're back at our favorite breakfast spot, the uh, Ocho at the Hotel Havana. We thought we'd try something different, but that did not happen. And I wanna show you, we're coming in from the parking lot side, which we normally don't do. And over here, we're actually overlooking the new um, municipal auditorium, the Tobin Center. And I don't know if you can see right there that purpley wavy screen. That is the, uh, they, if there's a concert going on inside, they um, sometimes put video uh, and audio of it, screen it out there so people standing in the plaza can actually listen to and watch the concert, which is pretty cool. And the river is right there. There's actually a, uh, a river taxi spot and after breakfast, I would like to go see what it looks like. Okay, so here we go into Ocho. Okay, breakfast has arrived and I've tried not to order the same thing this time. I'm a creature of habit, I will admit. So. I have my Joe's coffee, that I always get, sorry, from Austin. And then I ordered the fruit, now I see why it was $12. <laughs> the fruit um, with, what is that? Yogurt and, babe, I can pass that to you. And uh, granola. And hubby went for another banana bread. Toasted banana bread with peanut butter, bananas, and blackberries. Wow, that is very pretty. Now I have to figure out how to eat this. So it's Sunday after Sunday school and we're just keeping it easy and we have several different lunch requests. One kid wanted ramen soup, so that's keeping and three people wanted burgers. So just, if you don't have one of these non-stick griddle pans, I pick mine up at either, oh this one I got at Walmart. Um, it's a Tifa, Tifa, there's the brand, upside down. Anyway, um, that's a, that's like a, and it must have pan in the house. Love, 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 love. Has the raised uh, thingy so it makes the lines like it looks like it's grilled. 
Anyway, that's what's going on for lunch in my house. And then we got one doing homework. Yeah. That's kind of a funny way to do homework. There's a dog on you. Hello, dog. That's, who is that, Wrigley? Wrigley. Okay. And then uh, another one's gonna go to the sport court. He's hiding in the corner. Go play with his dad. And then we got one outside. It's a beautiful outside. Hey, Bosley. Hey, what's up? Are we, uh, Nothing yet. I see a lot of balls. Bosley's not chasing them today. Hi, Buzz. How are you doing? I see your tail wagon. Happy birthday! Thank you. Nice birthday outfit. Tell us Thanks. details. Ooh, look at those boots. What are those? These are suede boots that I can't remember. Happy birthday, take oh, your present. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Nice. Thank you. All right, Lupe Tortilla, let's hit it. So I am home from birthday lunch with Kiki and Aaron's grocery shopping and so forth, and I realize my hair looks crazy. I take off all my cute accessories, throw my hair in a somewhat ponytail and get comfy. And here's a, this isn't like a week's worth, this is just stuff I grabbed and then throughout the week I'll go back, but um, every, Good mother feeds their child. My younger son loves this for breakfast. My husband put this on the grocery list. Pirate booty. Very good. Uh, I am making this for dinner. It's the veggie pasta, the grocery store brand. I have chicken breast in there, thinly sliced. You gotta put that up in the fridge. Bag of lemons. And then 20 jillion bags. I love this. The dull natural chopped salad with barbecue ranch, and I add a little bit extra barbecue. It's really good. And then we kind of live on chemicals apparently. My house. Uh, this is like um like Crystal Light, but it's the grocery store version, and it's passion fruit. Make a big gallon pitcher of this. Got two of those as we go through them, like water. And then I bought two boxes of Quest bars. One in the chocolate chip cookie dough for me. And then my kids prefer the cookies and cream version. And then what else did we get here? Ah oh, yes, my favorite pasta sauce, Newman's marinara. Proceeds go to charity, which is nice, but it also tastes really, really, really good. And occasionally we use ketchup. This is really just for me. My kids prefer the Whataburger spicy ketchup, just sort of a Texas phenomenon. And then I have my leftovers from lunch that I'm going to give to my kids. And then when I got home, there was an order from Sephora, the, the friends and family sale, and my stuff came. So you, you will see a proper haul later. But we have the Glam Glow gift set, which is the full size um, Hydra Mask, and then the two little ones. Full size of Menard Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc. A second one of my second tube of Gimme Brow. This was a sample sample, cashed in some points, and got a mini flower bomb. I haven't used this in years, but it used to be my all-time favorite. Another Sephora Pro Crease Brush, Bite. Oh, this is a lip cream you'll see in another video, some other sample, and a little Bite gift set. I thought this would be a good way to try some of the colors, and I don't own any of them, so that's kind of exciting. So that was my big old haul, and now I'm going to put all my groceries away so we don't die of food poisoning. And hello! Hello! I am at Target and I just recently picked up one of their new concealers that I really like and I want to pick up another shade. It's this lifting concealer. This is the fair and then there's light. And I already have, I can't figure out if one is darker than the other. So actually I'm gonna go on the website because I have it in fair and it's still a little too dark. So I wanna find out how that's gonna go. And then I've heard that their HD blush is really good too. I might have to give that a shot. I don't, ooh, and they have new blush. I don't know. So I'm gonna go check, but that's not why I'm here. I'm actually here to go get a top and a belt. So I'm gonna go do a little elf looking up on the website first. Okay, I am just leaving K. Charles. I totally changed up my color 
and I really like it. I wanted an ashy blonde, and this is as ashy a blonde as I'm gonna get because my hair pulls really red. So this is as light as it's gonna get. It's kind of a fall color. And now I'm gonna go home and uh, film October favorites. So you'll see this in a little bit in a real, well, you have seen it already. No, you'll have, you'll have already seen it already, yeah. It gets a little confusing with this vlogging schedule. But anyway, uh, I don't even know what she did. I don't know what she did, I showed her a picture and, that's, and then she worked her magic. So don't even ask me. I know there was highlighting and low lighting and color and toner. I don't have my formula so I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry. But I like it. And if I don't like it, I could always change it next time. That's the fun part of hair color. So I am heading back into the grocery store because my husband has requested pirate booty. Now I found this put on our community grocery list on my Cozy app and I thought the kids have written it down. And apparently, no, it was my 43 year old husband who is requesting pirate booty. For those of you who don't know, it's sort of like a healthy version of cheese puffs, mildly healthy. Anyway, so here I am at our grocery store buying pirate booty for my husband. win, they are the co-district champions from middle school. I've never been to a girls sporting event, it's very intense. I'm gonna try to get some of the chanting later, it's pretty funny. morning happy Halloween um, I am doing a little morning masking I am trying out I bought in the Sephora friends and family sale I got um, a glam glow pack I guess the full-size thirsty mud which is amazing it's my favorite for dry skin people it's just amazing and um, it came with little samples, size, smaller sample sizes, I should say, of the Youth Glow, Youth Mud, and the regular one. I can't remember what it's called, and it's not in front of me. Um, it's in the white container, I, the one I normally use. But anyway, I thought I'd give this Youth Mud one a go. You're supposed to put it on before, you know, at the beginning of the day, and it's supposed to just exfoliate and tingle up your face and you only leave it on for 10 minutes so I am going to put this on oh, somebody wants to talk to me um, I'm gonna put this on and then hop in the shower and rinse it off in the shower because it's a little messy so anyway the clock is ticking I only have 10 minutes to leave this sucker on just get there and I'm using a Real Techniques foundation brush because I don't really use this kind of brush or foundation although I might give it a try sometime but obviously not now. I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day and face of the day. Um, I just put on my new Bite Lip, what is it called? Lip Bite Beauty Cashmere Lip Cream in Crianza. Um, I did do a darker lip liner and then I changed my mind and put this on top so we'll see how that worked out. Um, eyes are Bare Minerals Top Shelf with MAC Wedge and Wet n Wild Brulee and the Brow Bone. And then just NARS Your Glow Foundation, just the one foundation today. Um, I thought that Erin would especially appreciate my t-shirt today. And uh, just black hue leggings and I don't know who's boots those are. I'm not sure where I got these. I have no idea. Um, and then a bobble bar, a spike, I want to say it's the Helios necklace, and Goriana earrings, and Alex and Annie bracelets, and Michelle watch. Is that it? I don't know. T-shirt from Target. Love it. Uh, oh, cardigan from Target as well. And um, happy Halloween a week later, but whatever. Happy Halloween. Okay, I'm officially ready for Halloween. I have sourdough bread, overpriced candy, and a bottle of wine. And pirate booty for my adult husband, yes. 
This is the man who put pirate booty on the grocery list again. I wanted to talk quickly about my nails. Um, oh my gosh, it's bright out. I just got the new Zoya Holiday collection to preview. It's available now, but um, I got it a few days before it was available. And this is called Prim, and I love it. Check it out in the sun. It is, I think, absolutely gorgeous. It's so cool. I love it. And then I had a pedicure today, and I it, this is black. It's called Willa. I don't know if you can see. I have, like, little fat toes, but all the foot fetishists out there are just going to be just thrilled. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a really shiny black. Like, it's a blacker than usual, shinier than usual black shade. I know, it's hard to just... It's just black, but it really isn't. Um, so if you're looking for really cool black nail polish, I think I have to recommend, what is this, Willa. See, in the sun, it's just, I don't know. There's just something very different about it. Even my manicurist mentioned it. So that's my little tip if you're looking for blacker than black, shiny nail polish, Zoya. So can't wait to read the feet comments. I don't know. I don't know why showing your feet on YouTube is like, you know, I can show you my fingers but not my toes, but you wouldn't believe the the crazy comments that start coming. So So will you describe this Halloween look that we've got going on here? Laser bow tie white shirt chubbies. Yeah, I understand that. But wait, stop moving because I'm getting a little nauseous. What exactly is this costume? Frat. Frat. Okay. And do you have anybody joining you? Yeah. Okay. Like that we'll be dressed like this? Yeah. Okay. Very nice costume. It's the end of another month and I'm going to do another kind of get ready with me face of the month sort of thing. The look that I've been going toward the most for the month of 